Remediable. It's remediable. Okay, guys, we are starting the shear now. Uh, sorry for the technical misunderstanding, but there is shear now today. Baruch Hashem, Makes, Maseches, Makes, Daf Tes, Vav We are really in the middle of a topic over here. The shears, Lulu Nishma, Sovim, Menachem, and Akiva, Latzolas, Latzolas, all the captive people, Latzolas, all the captured people, Latzolas, the soldiers should be Matzliach, come back home victorious. Everyone should have Atzlocho, Brocho. The Bochum should be learning even better in Benazmanim. And now, let us... Okay, we are in the words... Um, we are now in, in, in... Um, We are now in the words, El Aloyoimar. Yeah. I mean, going back a little bit. Yeah. Umeshalem. I'm going back a little bit. Doesn't matter. The word is Umeshalem. Umeshalem El Aloyoimar. El Aloyoimar. Okay. Let's give a very, very, very important summary and introduction. I'm going to add things which I didn't say yesterday. Basically, the story is as follows. We're learning Maseches Marcus now, and we're learning about the fact that not all Lavim, not all the Sori Toiro, actually carry with them the Isil of Malchus. For example, the example is, and that's gonna that's really the topic of today and the next few days, Lav Hanitak Laase. Lav Hanitak Laase means when the Torah says don't do something, right, but rather you should do the other. Don't, yeah, leave over. Don't, yeah, leave over any of the korban, make sure there are no leftovers, and if you did, there are leftovers, right? Don't eat them. What should you do? That's another love, not to eat it. What should you do? You should burn it. That is to say, what's nitak lase? Nitak, what's nituk? Disconnection. It means we are disconnecting you from Malchus. We are basically absolving you of Malchus. Just do the right thing. Nobody's going to give you Malchus. Instead of Malchus, rather that, do the right thing, correct it. It is correctable, rectifiable, and remediable. Only in one go. Yeah, you can do, yeah, you can correct it by burning the noisel, and then all will be well. Okay, very nice. Then you don't get Malchus for leaving it over. That's one example. Comes Rabbi Yochanan, remember the name, that's important. Rabbi Yochanan says, on behalf of Rabbi Babachan, on behalf of Rabbi Yochanan, he says as follows. Sometimes, the order of the posuk is different, which means the Torah says, <clears throat> do this, and don't do the other way. It starts with the positive, and then tells you the negative. It tells you, right, all Tommy people should be shoot away, get, get out of here, to may may sin, and don't come in, right? Now, that is the opposite, that, that's the other way around. And this is a logic which I didn't tell you yesterday, the Gemara will tell us later. In this case, it's not so simple that it's a remedy, it's a solution. It's not correctable. Why? Because the Torah doesn't say, don't do that. And if you did, ah, okay, okay, do the right thing. The other way around. The Torah says, do the right thing. Finished. Then the Torah says, don't do the bad thing. Don't do the wrong thing. And that is left open-ended. So what happens with the lab that's open? When you finish the sentence, it's a syntax issue. He says, do the right thing and don't do the bad. So, and if I do the bad, ah, that's open-ended. The sentence ended there. And therefore, you'll get Malchus, for sure. Again, if you say, I'll repeat, La Benita Klasa, this is very important. What I'm telling you now is the basis for the whole sugya. If I tell you, the Torah tells you, I'm not giving examples from real life, from the Torah, the Torah is the real life. The Torah tells you, yeah, don't leave over any korban, yeah? And if you do, and if I did leave it, what's going to happen? Are you going to hit me? No, bash this rifle, all good. The solution is there, boom. The, the It's plugged in. The solution is just burn it, just do it, just burn it, all good, and nothing bad will happen. Meaning, the, the, the final solution is not the Malchus, but rather something good. And a say of burn the noise. Mashenken, when the Torah switches it around, right, there are Malchus involved. Meaning, if the Torah says, hey, yo, you get out of base of Mikdash, Tome people, Tishalchu called Sarobu Chozav Chol Tmelo Nefesh, Pashas Nesoi, and then the Torah says, and don't you go in there. The end sentence is, don't go in base of Mikdash when you're Tome, right? 
לא את התעמוס מקדשי, אה, and if I did, מלכוס, the end of the story, the end of the dramatic scene of the ציווי השם is what, really, don't do it, and when the Torah finishes with don't, then what if I do, finished, that's what Rabbi Yochanan believes, I think now it's all much much clearer, עד כאן, that's Rabbi Yochanan's yesod, and I'm happy we have it clearer today, now, unfortunately, there's a bad kid here, there's some exception to the rule, and that is what? Oynes. Oynes is a bad kid, that's actually true. The Torah says about the Me'anes, a person who, lo alayni, raped a woman. The Torah says, what's your solution, mister? If she wants, and she has no chance to get other shiduchim, yeah, because, you know, she was a besula, now she's not, and believe it or not, she wants to marry you. Okay, very nice. You're forced to marry her, and then it says, there's a asen lo tase, but they're located... Mm -mm -mm. not the right way and that is what it says that you should marry her right yeah positive commandment she should be his wife and then it says you won't be able to divorce her forever and ever your entire life ah again yeah cart before the horses first of all says have that mitzvah to say and then lo tase lo just like the, 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 the shooing away the Tumein. But sadly, by the, well, this guy, by the, by the Megarish, what happened if he did divorce her? So the divorce applies, yeah? The divorce, it's also, but it applies, as many things in Aloha. Now he's supposed to what? Bring her back to himself. Let's say he doesn't. He divorced her, and he says, I'm so happy he divorced, I don't care about Aloha. I divorced, I just can't take it anymore, do whatever you want to me. Then what do we say over there? We say that he's not like a, why? It doesn't work right. You just told me that if there's an assay followed by a lot assay, remember, if the end of the sentence is a lot assay, it's left open-ended. Don't divorce her, mashma, if you do, <laughs> lash. And, and from some odd reason, we say no. We say he's not like a, he's not like a, maybe, and okay, he's not, that's a question. That's a question. Ad Khan, Baruch Hashem, is a clear, I think, summary of where we're holding right now. I just want you guys to realize, because I'm, again, avoiding, we've been together for many years, as this kind of, I, I prophesize your questions sometimes, <laughs> usually I'm right. There are two types of Malchus, as I said, at least two. The Malchus we're talking about are not Malchus in order to get you to do something, to force you. Malchus is an Oynish. The Malchus is an Oynish, is a punishment he doesn't get. Now, Beisdin may force him to remarry her. They may give him one or two lashes or just, I don't know, drag him by his feet. I'm still saying it. They, they really force him to marry her. But ignore that, please. We're not talking about how they force him to remarry. That's a different story. But the Malchus of punishment, the 39 prescribed Malchus, is a punishment that he doesn't get. And the question is why? Why doesn't he get it? Right? According to the mechanism we just created, he should be getting. It, first of all, the Torah says, Hey, you, you stayed there your whole life. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and then he says, don't divorce her. No. And if I do divorce her, according to Rabbi Yochanan, the, the ultimate result should be thir times 39. Boom. Right? And yet we see, no, there's no Malchus. And the question is, why? Very good. Okay. So now, okay. Well, he should be forced to remarry her. But he doesn't get a punishment for that. And the question is, why? We had a few solutions from Oitzi Shemra, but there's a limit how much I'm willing to go back. So now let's go to where to where we were before. Ela. Let's go to the word Ela. Line starts with Urdu Mishalem, and then you go into the word Ela, Lo Yoyma Loti El Isha Bemoitzi Shemra. You can start with the word Bemoitzi Shemra if you want, more or less in the middle of the page. Um, if you have a technical question about what I said, then yes, otherwise no. Ela, Zog de Gemore, Lo Yoma Loti Elisha Bemoitsi Shemra. Mr. Oynes has a good friend, a cousin, <laughs> meaning there's a similar halocha to Oynes called Moitsi Shemra. Who's Moitsi Shemra? Moitsi Shemra is another kind of bad kid, bad husband. Moitsi Shemra is a guy who married a woman. It all started very nice for the first five minutes. The morning after the the wedding night, yeah, the morning after he gets up to Beisdin and he says this woman was Mezane under me, well she was Mores, Mekodesh, she was Mezane, comes out he's lying and he's basically besmirching her, yeah, he's Moitzi Shemra, 
yeah, is giving her bad publicity, and that's a very severe thing. Not only pays 50, pays 100, <laughs> twice as much as Oynes, right? And also he gets Malkus. Ah, no Kimli for you, mister. We really give it hard, yeah? We're hard on you. You like Keum Shalem, and it says he cannot divorce her his entire life. Sounds familiar? She's already his wife, and he cannot divorce her ever. All very nice. So now, let's learn. The Gemara keeps trying to compare and learn from Oynes to Moetzi Shemra. Now the Gemara says like this, I would say, the Torah could have skipped the, the, or the, the essay of it says she should be his wife forever. The Torah could have omitted it. The Torah could have completely not, not omitted and not write it. The Oh, we could have learned from Oynes to Moetzi Shemra. Oynes could have taught me to Moetzi Shemra. Oynes, as we just said, is more lenient. He does get Malkus and Tashlumin. When he raped originally, he has to pay. He has to pay through his nose. He has to pay a lot, a lot of like seventh of Shlumin. But Lemaise, he is, yeah, not Loike. And yet, and by Oynes, we're being harsh and we say she should be your wife forever and ever. The which is treated otherwise much more strictly. Yeah, more stringently. Moti Shemra gets Malkis, the Shlumim, everything, yeah. And yet, Kol and Moti Shemra should clearly stay with her for his entire life. Vilama Nehema. So why did the Torah tell me about Moti Shemra, she should be his wife forever? Imenu Inyan Moti Shemra, now Inyan Oh, as we say, Imenu Inyan, we have like an overflow, yeah, you give the extra stuff to the next door neighbor. If Moti Shemra, it's redundant for Moti Shemra, then cut and paste it into Oynes. And now Oynes, so now it's as if it's written twice in Oynes, right? Oynes has its own tzivui. Now Oynes also got back boomerang from Oitzi Shemra, another time being written, very nice, which means, now that's a Kiddush of Oynes. Oynes is now telling me, which means, change the syntax. Lefanov, to tell me that I say it before the Lord, I say, that's all that. I know that already. The Torah Ke'ilu repeated, yeah, the Torah repeated the say of Lo Itiyah Le'isha again after the Lui Chalishalcha, which means it's a regular Labanita class say. We took the as the, we took we import we imported it from Moitzi Shemra, right? And we stick it now to Oynes, and we say now it's written again after the assay. So now it says, yeah, there is a say, lota say, and a say again. Lo yuchalashalcha, veloiti elisha. It's kilo says twice lot elisha. It she should be your wife, don't divorce her. And if I did, and if I did, then she should be your wife. Ah. So at the end of the day, the sentence finished with positive, with do marry her. Yivaldig, no Malkus. That's a classical Agbenita class A. Don't do X. And if I did, and if I did, to marry her. Very nice. That's how we know. Oynes doesn't have Malkus. Zog de Gmore. No, 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 no. Frek de Gmore, you're wrong. Why? This is the last Mahalach, by the way. That's it. It's not true. You started this Mahalach assuming that Oynes could teach Moetzi Shemra. Moetzi Shemra bounces it back to Oynes. To say Moetzi Shemra can learn from Oynes, and it's so clear to you that, that Moetzi Shemra is worse than Oynes, it's a call she can, that's not true. Dikal Mifrach, I challenge what you're saying. It's so clear to you that one is more severe than the other, I'll prove you wrong. Malo Oynes, she can also maise. That's what all of us would have said, right? The Oynes is worse. The Oynes, excuse me, he raped her. Yeah, it was an uh, October kind of guy. Yeah, Lolenu. Yeah, it was Ma'anis the girl. That's way worse than the smirching is very, very bad. But the guy who did the Maisa, yeah, I could claim and say, no, Matitom. Could be the Oynes gets also the punishment and the Isser and the Chiyub of marry her, stay with her your whole life. Bitzvah say, don't divorce her, Lot say. But the Moitzi Shemra, he gets his punishment, the Moitzi Shemra, don't worry. He gets a hundred Knas, he gets Malkus. But it's not automatically to learn from Oynes and Shemra that you are forced to be with her the whole life. No, that's not true. I wouldn't have known that automatically. I would have said, Ma'anes, you stay with her the whole life. Ha ha, what a Oynes. Moetzi Shemra, maybe you're allowed to divorce her. Yeah? Ela. So therefore, we are now saying the last attempt. 
which is going to fail. Ella, lo yoyma lo tiyalisha b'omot shemra shari ishtoi hi. Ay 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 ay. There is a major difference. Let's stop talking now about worse, better. We're not in the power struggle here. Who's the worst boy in the class? The oynes b'omot shemra. Think technically, practically. There's a huge difference. The oynes, yeah. The oynes is not married to her yet. The me'anes, it's in modern Hebrew, but it's called anas in modern Hebrew. Lo no, that's a rapist, yeah? The anas, yeah, he's not married to her. Yeah, he had a, he had a one-time story with her. He's not, he's not married to her. So it's a chiddush. Now you go ahead and marry her. Get, book a hole. <laughs> Get a ring. Get your Rosh Hashiva. Masadur <laughs> Kiddushin. Start the whole thing. Masha'en Ken, the Moetze Shemra, they're already married. Here we're saying get married. There we say stay married. It's very different. One, one second. No, no. We're, we're in the middle of a yeah, jungle here. Yeah. So therefore, make it easy to learn one from the other, right? So therefore, lo yerba lo iti alisha ba mitzvah shara ish tohi. You does you don't have to tell me that she should be a wife. She is his wife. Lama ne mal. Why does the Torah tell me ba mitzvah shemra that leave oynes alone now? Mitzvah shemra. She should be his wife. She is his wife. She's his wife. Why do you have to tell me she should be his wife? She's ready. There's one woman in the world none of you can marry. And that is your wife. Because you're already married to her. You can't marry twice. Right? The same woman. You're allowed to marry other women before Cherem Dorvain Gershom. Yeah, you can't marry your wife. You've been there with the, for her for uh, 32 years, 40 years, I don't know, 50 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah. So you can't marry. You're already married. Right? So why does it say it? The whole, the whole line starts, starts sounds uh, uh, stamped with in Shema sounds redundant. Aha. So now from Oitzi Shemra, we bounce it to Oynes, where it is a Chiddush. But Oynes is a Chiddush. She's not my wife. He raped her. Wife? No, she's not his wife. By Oynes, it's extra. We already have the Asay. Ah, the Asay is before the Lot Asay, leaving the Lot Asay to be the end of the sentence, which is bad news. Very nice. Give it La'achrov. We now copy and paste it, Le'achov, meaning we imported the concept of Le'isha, and we placed it at the end of the sentence of Ma'anes, and we say, don't divorce her, and if you do, then marry her again. Very nice, which is Lavanitaklase, which means there's no Malchus. QED. Very good. Quick one. So, Absolutely not. You raped once, he's married to her. That's for sure. Mapitum. Only if there's Kavano. There's no Kavano, it's Kiddush, and she didn't want. She didn't want to study Arabia here. She didn't want. Ve'ema, Frek Digmar, Ve'ema. Now, Frek Digmar, wait a second. Why do you jump all the time from Etz Hashem to Oynes? Ve'ema, let me suggest the following. What was your problem? Your problem was, by Etz Hashem, it's extra redundant to say, marry her. We're married. The Ema, so let me deal with it differently within Moitzi Shemra. The Ema and your Inyan Lefon of the Moitzi Shemra, Tnel Inyan Laachav Didei, the Loilaki. Ah, maybe that's Pshat. Maybe it's coming to tell me as follows. Maybe it's coming to tell Moitzi Shemra, Moitzi Shemra, there's no need to tell me that she should marry her. Maybe Tnel Inyan Laachav Didei, the Loilaki, which means maybe you should tell me. Now Rashi says over here, one second, I want to show you the Rashi. One second. No, 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 no. No, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. No, 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 it's a different Rashi. The Ema, Imen in the Lafon of Notsi Shema, at no in the Lach of Dide de Loilaki, which means maybe from Moiti Shemra himself, the Torah had to tell me that if he divorces her, what happens if Mr. Moshe Shemra, who's supposed to stay with her his whole life, he divorced her? No. Maybe he should get Malchus, right? If he just says, don't divorce, you get Malchus, right? Comes the Torah and says, no. Le'achrov, he doesn't get Malchus. Stay married with her. Don't divorce her. And if you did, you should remarry her, and then you're not going to get Malchus. Very good. It's local for Moshe Shemra. The Moitzi Shema has a remedy to remarry if he divorces. He's also not supposed to divorce. Locally there in Moitzi Shema, you know what? Good. Yes. You tell me Moitzi Shema is there and Oynes is... We don't learn anything regarding Oynes? No. You can learn it regarding Moitzi Shema. 
Very good. Let's say that Bamoitsi Shemra, there's a concept of love and itaklase. Don't divorce. And if you did divorce, no, Malchus, just remarry and all will be well. No, the same mechanism, copy and paste it to Oynes. And then we're looking all the time again and again and again and again and again to understand why by Oynes, we're trying to create Oynes as a regular Labanita Klase. Although the order of Oynes is you should marry for life and you should not divorce, which means you get Malchus, we all the time trying to push and say, no, it's really the other way around. It's really don't divorce. And if you did divorce, then remarry and don't get Malchus. Love, Anitak, the, the remedy for the love is the essay. Okay, so learn it from Moitzi Shemra. Moitzi Shemra would teach it, you know, bam, 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 from Moitzi Shemra, boom, it's going to land to Oynes. Oynes too is the regular Anitak, let's say, and all will be well. Zog de Gmore, excuse me, be my Gomer Mine. How will that magic import expert happen? Turkey, Israel? What's going to happen? You think import export so easy? What's going on here? Whether you want to learn to call the Choymer or by which is equal, I'm always going to stick this, uh, I'm always going to have this book in your wheels and say, no, Motishemra cannot teach me anything regarding Oynes. Why? Because Moetzi Shema is always more lenient because he didn't do anything wrong. So by Moetzi Shema, we're nice and cutesy and we say, listen, don't divorce her. If you do divorce her, ah, quickly get her back, make a nice cake, all be well, nobody will give you Malchus. We can't automatically know that regarding Oynes. Oynes is a disgusting rapist. He did a Misa. Who says we don't give him Malchus if he divorced her? Therefore, now we come to the final, final, final answer. Now we're coming to the Menucho ben Anachlo, famous line. Elo Marove, kol yomov be'amoid ve'achzer. V'chen, ki osa rabbi namo b'yechonon, kol yomov be'amoid ve'achzer. Let me explain. Now, the Torah says, lo yucha l'shalcho kol yomov. Right? It says, v'lo itiye l'isha, she should be his wife, Right? You cannot divorce her, right? And then it says, call him up all the day of his life. Let me ask you a question. When the Torah says, don't eat chazer, why doesn't the Torah tell me, don't eat chazer your entire life? Because I assume that there's no expired date in the story Torah. Like, I don't think when I get to the age of 54, I'll be able to eat chazer. I don't think so. I don't, also, I'm not interested, actually. What? Oh, Rabbi, Peter Gallery is absolutely right. The words Kol Yomov is extra. The words Kol Yomov are telling me Kol Yomov, his entire life, Mr. Divorcee Rapist, yeah, who is now, he divorced her once, that's one time too much. His entire life is one big long option, window of opportunity to remarry her. And therefore, it's Ke'ilu Torah told me like this, hey, you marry her. For your, you marry her, marry her right now. She wants you to marry her. You messed her up big time. Marry her and don't ask questions. You, Mr. Oynes, Manis. Now, don't divorce her. And if I do divorce her, will I get Malchus? Call Yomov. Your entire life, you have the chance, the opportunity to always marry her again, which is a classical love and it's a classic. It's love, which is, remedi which is remediable. By Asse, correctable, <laughs> rectifiable, by the Asse, but you do marry her again. And when would that happen? Sometime in future. You can always tell based in, I will eventually remarry her. So don't give me Malchus, because I promise you tomorrow I'll marry her. Eventually, maybe if their patience is just going to expire, and they say you marry her now, or else we're going to put you in jail, or we're going to whatever hit you. But the Maise, he can always say, I am in that state of love. And itaklase, I broke a love. You know what I will do now, says the Torah. You are in a continuous, ongoing matzav of, yes, being able to rectify it by marrying her. Therefore, it's a regular love. And itaklase, mazel tov, good. And therefore, it doesn't get malchus. But rather, he will eventually, I keep saying these words on purpose, as you'll see later, he'll eventually remarry. And therefore, don't give him malchus. The only, okay. Adkan, yes. Yosef wants to ask a question. Oh, that's going to be the next sugya about the time limit. That, no, no, sorry. Good, good. I'm, I'm glad when people prophesize the next tomorrow. It shows you a big lamdonim. 
Yes, any other questions or comments? Call 1700. Yeah, I'm listening. Right there. Okay, thank you for interesting comments. Which means, what's chasima? The question of the Gemara is, how can you, Rabbi Yochanan, tell me that when you have, let's say, a case of, let's go back to Rabbi Yochanan, if you have a regular, not oinus, a regular case of ase, followed by lota ase, you get malchus, right? Stay away from Beis Amikdash, positively. Get out of here, you Tome, positively. And don't go in. What? And he stayed in Beis Amikdash. I mean, staying inside, okay? Boom, you latch him, right? I mean, you take him to Beis Din and then latch him. Yeah, that's what Tobi said. Because I don't love any takla say. It's a say and then love. It's a wrong way around. You get Malchus. Frank Digmar, excuse me. We all know, Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh. Who's the poster boy? Who's the five star? Who's the thing to look up to? from all Lavim of the Torah, that all other Lavim have to be like him in order to give Malkus, Mazel the show, right? And this is not like Lav the Chasima. The Lav of Chasima, of muzzling, of gagging the show, is what? There is no Lav and I say, just the Lav. It's just a lot of say. It's only negative. And we always know that all Lavim have to fit the criteria, yeah, of well, this doesn't. Because Lot Achim is only a love, and here you have a love and also an assay. So the you shouldn't get Malchus. It doesn't fit your criteria. Why is Lot Achim Shobadisha the poster boy? Philosophically, I don't know. And right now, we're not learning Kabbalah. But because that's the love that's closest geographically, in other words, in the Chumash, the love that's written right next to Malchus is Lot Achim Shobadisha. That's a Lot Achim Shobadisha. I, I wonder why in Machshava, and at 10 30, I'd like to hear your thoughts about it, but not now. Lotachsom Shabadisho is the example of love. All other lavim should look at him and say, Oh, if I'm like Lotachsom Shabadisho, then there's Malchus. Well, this doesn't. Because as I say, I'm Lotase. And Shod is only Lotase. Zog de Gmore, Omale, he gives him a good answer. Mishum de Kosa Berechmone, Asi Esera, Migregora. What do you mean? Just because the Torah added an assay on top of the love, it makes it even worse. So that makes it worse and different too. Meaning, use your brains. You look, you think that Lotachsom Shobedisha is like a, some idol? Everyone has to be exactly Lotachsom Shobedisha? Use your brains. At the end of the day, Lotachsom Shobedisha is only love, and you get Malchus. So when I'm over, and if I'm standing in Mesa Mikdash after I touched the Sheretz five minutes ago, I'm over, I say, and love, I shouldn't get Malchus? Of course I should get Malchus. Fact Digmore, ah? Is that so? You broke the connection between Lotachsom Shobedisha and all other Lavim? Oh, yeah, you shechted the holy cow? Iachi, if so, love shinita klasei nami, right? Leima mishum dukosa berachmon ase yeser mi gorgora. So you can say it about all love anita klasei. So you broke the whole thing. You, every love anita klasei, there's love and there's a say, right? Let's say, yeah, you burned the kochim. You don't burn the kochim. You left over kochim in Beis Mikdash, and you just left them. You say, I can burn them. I don't care. I have other things to do. I'm a coin in Beis Mikdash. I'm busy with other inyonim. I don't know. I'm washing my feet now. You're in the kio. I'm not dealing now with burning the korban the leftover, the mezid. So you're going to tell me that you should get Malchus because there's no sen lo ta'ase. Yeah, and we don't say that. We belav anita klase. When there's the love and then a say, we don't give Malchus. You now telling me he doesn't nothing has to be like 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 Lotachsom Shabadishai or Malay, and this is the punchline now, and this is how I started this year with what the Gemara will say now is what I told you the very beginning, yeah, at 9:30. Ahul and it took love who the also full stop. Very, very good. Use your brains of the Gemara, which means we're not learning here stam how to copy and paste, you know, like a machine, like an AI. We're learning logic. When it's lava nita class A, it's logically, essentially, intrinsically different to show. Why? By show, I'll, the, the Gemara just said now what I told you at the beginning. I just said the Rahman Sunni, so I told you at the beginning. When the Torah says, hey, yo, don't do that, okay? End of line. Yeah, you don't do this, okay? And if I did, mm, automatically, if asking, and if I did, yeah, Malchus. Boom, 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 times 39. Yeah? That's Lotachsom Shobadishoy. Same thing would apply to, hey, you get out of Beis Mikdash, 
positively, be Mikhaim and say, get out of here, Mr. Tome. Yes, you, I mean you. Get out of here from Beis HaMikdash. And then the Torah says, the Torah says, and don't go in, love, and don't go in. If you finished your sentence with don't go in, it's exactly what Rachum Shobedishoi. The end sentence finished dramatically, don't do it. And if I did, Malkus. Mashiach and Lavanita Klaase, use your seichel. Lavanita Klaase, the Torah says, hey, you, don't leave over, don't leave over Kochim the day, the morning after. And if you did, burn them. Ah, so there's another end to the story, another consequence, which is not Malkus, but rather a positive commandment. Yeah. Don't take the kids away from the mother while she's there. And I mean to say the chicks or the eggs. So what should they do? They get Malchus? No, don't get Malchus. Just send her away and all will be well. That's Labanita Klasse. When it finishes off with the positive tone, positive commandment, excuse the pun, with a mitzvah saseh, then the mitzvah saseh is the remedy, is the correction, and not the Malchus. This is beautifully now, Baruch Hashem, clear to us. That's a story. Now we have to we have to continue unless it's very yep. Go, Baruch Hashem. Now Yosef asked the question, till when can the guy play games with us? Yeah. You know, people always say tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Yeah, very good. When will I be Mesadir the Machsan? Tomorrow. Yeah, yes, Mokoshlachar's man in Spain, manana, manana, manana. Tomorrow, tomorrow. When's tomorrow? Five years from now. Very nice. So the question is the guy divorced the his beloved yeah, wife, which he raped, right? He's forced to be with her, divorced her. And now we say, right, Yosef, his entire life, don't give me Malchus. Why shouldn't give him Malchus? Because tomorrow I'll marry her. What happened tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll marry her. But about tomorrow's Shabbos, okay, Sunday and Sunday, tomorrow my brother's getting married. So tomorrow, after the Shev Rochus, meanwhile, he's having fun not being with his, uh, uh, with his ex-wife. So obviously the question is, what's the limit, right? Oh, now, besides the technical question, there's a much, much more lumbish question over here. Okay, we're going to see a mechleik soon, soon meaning in Amud base. I'm giving you an introduction, which will also make it much easier for you. And that one, <laughs> tomorrow there's no shear, but I mean only tomorrow, hopefully, yeah, <laughs> the day after there will be. What happens, Bezal Sashem, what happens if a person tells based in tomorrow? Which means, if a person, what, what's the essence of love Anita Klasse? Why is it, or how do we define the fact that if the person will, right, will do the mitzvah sasei, then you don't give him Malchus, and you see he's not yet doing the mitzvah sasei, he's not yet marrying her, is he chayv Malchus or not? There's mechlekes abechna v'shlakish, the two famous meroim argue. One opinion says, soon we'll see who's who, one opinion says there is not being mekayim, the other one saying being mevatel. Let's start with Rishlakish. Listen to me, Yosef, this is exactly an answer to your question. It says Rishlakish. Once a person, let's say, divorced his wife, his, which is not allowed to divorce, the Anusa, he divorced her, and that happy moment or unhappy moment is Chayv Malkus. He's right away Chayv Malkus, not as means of pressure. He's Chayv the punishment. He's now an issue of Malkus. Says Rashi, what do you, and he ran away. He went to his uh, daddy and mommy's home. Mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, now we bring him to Basin and we say, listen, mister, you are now already Chayv Malkus. You see the nice whip over there? It's kind of not fun, yeah? So listen, Rabbi, you are not Rabbi, <laughs> Rabbi, yeah? Listen, mister, you are Chayv Malkus. Now, you may quickly, real quick, marry her, remarry her now. Don't get the fanciest catering in town or even a nice hall because there is no time. Because if you don't marry her right now, then you're going to get the Malchus, which you are already chayev. You chayev Malchus the second that you broke the lab, even the lab in Itaklase. Yeah, even the lab in Itaklase. It is only remediable if you quickly marry her and then you get out of the existing, present, current, I'm saying this on purpose, all these things. Yeah, oinesh, which you chayev on your head. That's Rish Lakish. Rabbi Yochanan says no. Rabbi Yochanan says, Rabbi Yochanan is much more lenient. Says Rabbi Yochanan, no, 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 no. You only chayev Malchus if you completely break and you annulled the mitzvah say. Meaning, let's say the guy says to Beisdin, the guy divorced her, he's not yet chayev Malchus. Wow. He divorced the woman, which he's not supposed to, not allowed to, he's not chayev Malchus because it's remediable, meaning, 
as long as he's willing conceptually to remarry her, he's not Chayv Malkus. What happens if one sunny day, after a week or two or three, he comes to Beisdin and or not in front of Beisdin, in front of Edim? You know what he did? He broke, he burnt the bridge. He got to a point of no return. Meaning, says Rashi, he gave, he made a neder. We learned about the Dorim recently in the Chumash. He made a neder that horrible woman, which I then I had this business with her. I madir her hano for me, in a way that cannot be annulled. I'm marrying, I'm making, I'm making, not marrying, I'm making a neder that she will not have her no for me ever and ever. Bechlal. And that neder can never be annulled like Nazirut Shimshon. Can't be annulled. Ooh, you broke, you burnt the bridge. You made it irrevocable because now you made it impossible to rectify through marriage. Then you become Chai of Malchus. Then you become Chayv Malkus because then you are not not Mikayim, you are actually Mevatel. You are Mevatel Biudaim, actively the possibility of rectifying yourself with Mitzvah Saseh. Another example, I remember when they gave that shir, the ad hoc shir in the Rambam, and there was one moment, I have to admit, when I was confused. The Rambam spoke about Shiloh HaKen. How is Shiloh HaKen Chayv Bechlal Malkus, according to Rabbi Yochanan? I'll tell you how. Let's say you took the chicks, so they tell you, you took the, the eggs or whatever that is, the baby the baby birds, yeah, the chicks, and then you didn't take away the mother, so it's rectifiable. Quickly, sure away, sure out, and then you'll be okay, right? But let's say the guy says, you won't get Malchus, but what about if the guy broke the wings of the mother or he killed the mother? <laughs> then he can't send her away. She can't fly. She's dead or crippled. Then you get Malchus. When you broke the bridge, and made it impossible, uh, you, you burned the bridge, and you made it impossible for yourself to, to do what? To rectify by yourself, only then you begin to be high of Malchus, according to Rabbi Yochanan. We're going to repeat that anyway, like 10 times in the next uh, or 13 minutes. So this is the concept. Yeah. You're telling me about Mr. Divorcee Rapist, this nice guy. What do you say about him? The entire life, Yosef, the entire life. The entire life, he's one long period of, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll remarry her tomorrow. So I'm not Chayim Malkus at all. Is that true? Depends. According to Man Domer that says that the only Ichi of Malkus starts when you're mevatel, mevatel means when you made it impossible to marry her. Levatel, you broke it, you annulled it, you killed it, you smashed it by saying, I moved her now from that woman, I'll never ever marry her, and I swear, yeah, veloi bitloi, that's the issue. Then it makes sense. As long as you didn't burn your bridge, you are still in one long period of what? Of maybe I'll marry her tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> According to Rashvakish that says Kimo Velo Kiemoi, which means according to Mandomar that says that once you are not Mikhaim, Basin calls you the day after the divorce, let's say, and they say, You divorced her? Listen, mister, you already hive Malkus from the second you divorced her. You want to get out of your existing Chiv Malkus? Marry her ASAP, not in the whole now. If you don't marry her now, we have a nice lash over there on the side. It's so cool. Yeah, you can tell the family about it, right? So therefore, according to him, that's not Shaykh. You can't say Kol Yomov Achzer, which Kol Yomov? Not Kol Yomov, not Kol Yomov, not the entire life, Mafitom. No way. It's Pashut. The second you married, the second you divorced her, what happens then? You're already Chai Malkus. You can get out of this existing Oynesh by rectifying. But the Oynesh is right now. So the words Kol Yomov Ahmed Achzer Kai is not true. Zdok de Gemara, you're right, but it's not bothering me at all. Me the time, ah, well, how did it all had God you start? Why did we have to come to this whole business of a moed v'achzel? Because Rabbi Yochanan said, "What? Well, let's review now the whole sugya. How did it start this whole ma'aseh?" Rabbi Yochanan, big red letters. Rabbi Yochanan, not Rish Lakish. He's the one who said what that if you have an assay, and afterwards lot assay. Like by Tameim, then you get Malchus. Oi, yes. Oi, it says marry and don't divorce. So why is there no Malchus? You should have Malchus. We had to twist it around and say, 
That's Rabbi Yochanan. Very good. So you're asking from Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan is very good. El al Rabbi Yochanan. Hamel al Rabbi Yochanan letane. Tani bit lechayev. Veloi bit lepotu. Very good. Rabbi Yochanan is of the opinion of Kodam. Rabbi Amad v'achzer. Rabbi Yochanan believes that as long as you don't completely break the options, make it irrevocable, as long as you didn't burn the bridge, yes, you're in a lifelong situation of Amad v'achzer. I want to stress and tell you something, Yosef, and everybody else. As I told you before, because I expected that question, I don't think Beisdin can let him off the hook really for the entire life. That's a different system of enforcement. It makes sense when the, the guy dawdles and plays around with him too much, Beisdin loses her patience, and I don't know when, I have to admit to yourself, I don't know. And at some point, they force him to marry. But he's not Chayv Malkus. He's not Chayv to be punished. Get what I'm saying? He's not getting the 39 Malkus. It's not Chayv Boinchin. Elamai, you should do what you have to do. You know what they used to do in times of Beis Din when people didn't want to take Klula from before Shigmar? You lash him. Yes, religious reinforcement. Today they force you to do all kinds of things in this country, right? V'chule, I don't go into details. In the times of Beis Amit, there's the forced people to, to, to take Klula. It's not 39 Malkus. It's not a punishment. The punishment you don't deserve. As long as it's potentially... Potentially possible to remarry. I didn't make the nether. I didn't break the wings of the bird, the mummy bird. I'm still okay. I'm not high Malchus. I will be high Malchus only when I finish the whole story, making to a point of no return. That's okay. It's I'm not answering question time wise. Oh, one second, one second, one second. The time I'll be with you in a minute. The tiny tiny command of Rabbi Yochanan. There was an Amoira who taught a Bryce in front of Rabbi Yochanan. He he said over the Bryce to Rabbi Yochanan. What did he say? Paul meets a sloita say. Shiesh Bakuma say, any mitzvah sloita say that's involved with the mitzvah say sounds to me sometimes like Lavanita Klase, our story here. Listen to the words. Kiem Ase Shaba Potu. If you're Mekayim Dase, you you you're Mekayim, you remarried, you sent the mother, you did the good thing, you burnt the kochim, you did the positive thing, your potu. Ah, oh, no, Malchus. Oh, I was so scared. I had enough backache in my life. But Bita Lase Shaba Chayev. Bitel, but if you completely annulled and you broke it, you got it to a point of no return, then you have Malchus. If you really follow the Sugi till now, we're talking here like the British state chalk and cheese, apples and oranges. It's like you're telling a guy, do you like bananas or did you vote for Clinton? <laughs> what do you want, Kesha? Yeah? Omar Lay, Mike Omar, you're comparing two things, Bli Kesha, Mike Omar. Either you say, use the right language. Yeah, opposites have to relate to each other. Yeah, is it Clinton Trump or is it bananas and oranges? Yeah, so kiem pato lo kiem chayev. Either you tell me where you mekayim right away, according to a shlakish, quickly marry her and then you off the hook. Lo kiem chayev. You say to based in half a second tomorrow. Boom, lashes. Not tomorrow by us. You refuse to marry her even for one minute. Right away, you're already Chayv Malkus. You don't have any longer period of mercy, yeah? Uh, or you say, or alternatively you can say, another system, and you can say, Bitel Chayv, Loi Bitel Potu. Oh. Or you can speak in another sphere, Bitel Chayv, Loi Bitel Potu, which means you are at the beginning Potu. As long as you say tomorrow, 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 and you're not completely out there to annul, to annul the mitzvah, you're not Chayv Malkus. For just divorcing, you're not Chayv Malkus. It's not just about time. The question is, when the guy divorced his wife, is he already Chayv Malkus or not? Says Rabbi Yochan, is not Chayv Malkus. And he can go tomorrow, tomorrow, I guess, limited period of time. But as long as he didn't break the, he didn't make a vow, a nether, the cheese out of his life, and making it impossible for him to remarry, as long as it's possible to marry, he's still not Chayv yeah. Malkus at all. The few Malkus, listen to my words, will only begin when he burns the bridge, according to Rabbi Yochanan. When he says, I'm vowing that she'll never have an offer from me. He can't have marriage with a wife not having an offer from the husband. It's physically impossible. Therefore, you know what the right version should be, says Rabbi Yochanan. Haha, <laughs> follow my side. Tni, Tni, you should learn, you should have the right version. Bitloi veloi bitloi. Very good. You should have bitloi veloi bitloi, which means if you're mevatel, you got to a point in which you said, I'm not marrying her for life, and I'm making it halachically anchored in halacha. She will not have enough from me or from my body, from my tashmish amita. There's not marriage. It's not marriage. And therefore, what? I'm finished. 
such a case, you burnt your bridges, then the Chiyub Malkus begins. Of course, it starts, you need two conditions, Bekitzer. You need to divorce her, <laughs> two easy steps to get into Malkus. Divorce, and then make the divorce eternal. Yeah? Irrevocable. That's when you have according to Rabbi Yechonon. Yeah? Bitloi. Thank you for your patience, Yosef. Rabbi Shimon Lakish Shoymer, Kimor Velo Kimoi. Rabbi Lakish says, no. You high Malchus straight away. You gave her the get. Oh, you feel so free. I'm out of my uh, Anusa's uh, claws. Thank you. Will he follow us to base into a nice session of Malchus? You high Malchus right now. Ah, will he get Malchus? Oh, he can get out of the existing Onish Malchus by ASAP marrying her. But the Onish Malchus is now. But they had some divorce. Love, they all believe in La Benita Classe, by the way. Yeah. La Benita Classe, according to Rabbi Rishlakish, there is a remedy by the Eved. By the Eved. Yeah, it's La Havdil. Yeah, you tell your child, you punish the kid. I'll only punish you if you so, do so and so, right? Or you tell the kid, you punished now. What you did is really, really bit. You punished now. You can redeem the punishment for washing the milky dishes uh, for half an hour. Yeah, but you really are punishable right now. That's Rabbi Yochan. That's Rosh Lakish. That's Rosh Lakish. That's Rosh Lakish. So Rabbi Yochan is consistent. So let's close the ties over. Let, let, let's uh, 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 tie the loose ends. Rabbi Yochan is consistent. Who is the one who says, Call Yom of Bamod Vachzerkai? You divorce her, divorce, divorce. Now the Torah says it's rectifiable, it's remediable, which means it's a tolly voimid. You're not yet Chayav Malkus. You are still, it is still correctable by remarrying her. All very nice. That's Rabbi Yochanan. Only if your mamish broke the you, you broke the, the ties, that's you burned the bridge. He says a neder, never will she touch me, I won't touch her. battle, no chokham the world can can annul that. Then you chive Malkus. Then you start being chai Malkus. Or Shlakish is all different Ashkafa that you chive straight away. Uh, you can ask very quick questions now. Okay. Uh, Yosef has been waiting very nicely and patiently. Yeah. A very good question was uh, was asked here by Rabbi Yosef, and I will repeat it. What happens if the happy couple got married? She wants it, and they would they force him to marry, yeah, because he's oinus, and then he divorced her, which is against the locha. But after the divorce, then she says, "I don't want him." It's a good question. I assume it's written somewhere. Excuse my ignorance. Then, oh, then the chorishim get malchus because there's no chiv anymore. Maybe the chiv is pokea. Maybe the Ochiv never starts at that point. Maybe the Ochiv kill stopped because we still play by her flute. I don't know. It's a good question. I admit I don't know. I'm giving you homework for the next two days. There's no shirt tomorrow, so you can just be mine. We're going to have one more question, maybe, and this is it. Yeah. Sure. What's the source? What's the what's in the heart of the Mechlokes of Bechman Shlakish? Famous story. Basos Sofek Kamiflegi, which means we all know the people only get Malchus, corporal punishment, let alone capital punishment, only if there was proper Hasro from Edim, given by Edim. Very good. Let's say the Edim gave Asro Sofek, which means if Edim tell a guy, they see him pulling out a cigarette on Shabbos, about to light it, about to, he's about to, and say, hey, you, if you light that cigarette, you can get Skila, that's called Asro. Obviously, we don't know whether he liked the cigarettes or not, but that's not called sophic. That's a saw. What about, let's say, just like in our story, in order to get Malchus, it's a two-way process. You need two stages, two steps in order to be chayev. According to Rabbi Yochanan, that's it. Divorce. You're not yet chayev Malchus at all until stage number two, making a vow, never again will I marry. Never again will I marry. Neder should not have enough for me or my body. That's it. Now, that's the Mechloikas. According to Rabbi Echanon, when he is originally divorcing her, and we're going to tell him, Mister, you're an Oynes about to divorce. Hi, it's an Isodo Oysa. Two Eidim, Tira Shamaim Eidim, Shlomo and Peretz will come to him and say to that guy, Mister, we're giving you a Sron. If you do that, you have Malchus. But then, we don't know, maybe he will never actually get to the second stage. That's called Hasroa Sofik. I master on the guy before stage A, but maybe he will or he won't do stage B. That's called a sophic. Because even if he will laugh in her face and say, I don't care, I'm divorcing her, he's still not Chayv Malkus. We still have to wait for stage two when he will actually 
make a vow and break the possibilities, break the potential, only then he'll be chayim. Is that called a saw to take him to Beisdin eventually after the second step? Yes or no? That's a mechloikas. Masova asro sofik shmasro. Rabbi Yochanan says asro sofik. I'm beginning with asro, and there's another condition that has to be fulfilled later. It's called asro. He can't come to Basin and say, but the second stage they didn't get asro. We don't care. He got asro for the first stage. He works through and through, and therefore you chayv Malkus right at the end of the second stage, and the first asro worked magic all the way through the the two two stage process. Masova rishlakish thinks. Ishlakish says, no, you can't tell me such a such a uh, funny thing that there's two-stage process, because then there'll never be a saw. Because I, Ishlakish, I believe, if you give a saw on a guy and you say, if you divorce her, it's a love. <laughs> You're going to know. You don't know whether the second stage will happen or not. Will he actually make a nether to make it irrevocable? Yes or no, we don't know. Such a saw is not called a saw. So when do you have a love? only by one stage. Therefore, Lavim can only work with one stage, not two stages. Because if you have a two-stage process and Asra on the first stage, we don't know whether he'll pull the other button. Like you have a machine, you have to press one button, then then uh, pull another trigger, or something like that. As long as the second trigger wasn't pulled, if you say nothing happened, says Lashlakish back to Abyechanon, that's not called a slow. You can't make a slow. Hey, don't press that button. I'll press the button. You guys, sorry, you don't know whether I'll do the second stage. So you can't give me a slow, according to Lashlakish. Therefore, must be it's a one step process. And by just divorcing the Anusa, that alone, his wife, the Anusa, but that alone, boom, he's hyped straight away. That's exactly what Shrakir says. The second you divorced her, you chayv. Because that is Asro. Asro is not Sofik, that's Asro is Vadai. They each follow the reason, the short term, we're going to finish it. Rabbi Yochan and Shlakish both follow, follow their, their, their own reasoning. A person made a Shvua, I will eat this loaf of bread today. His wife really wants him to eat that loaf of bread, whatever. She made it special for the birthday. Yeah, anniversary. Then what? He makes a shvua. I will eat that loaf of bread today. The other yoyim Ooh, the loaf of bread is there on the kitchen table. Yeah, in the bread bin, and it's getting late. Shkiat says the bread remains intact. He basically did not fulfill his shvua. Ay 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 ay. Rabbi Yochanan v'Shlakish, Damit Rabayu, ain't like Although normally we learned in the Rambam, Shvua is an exception to the rule, and you have Malchus and Shvua conceptually. Here you don't get Malchus, but both Rabbi Yechon and Shlakish believe you don't get Malchus, but each one for different reasons. Rabbi Yechon and Shlakish, it's an inactive love. Because love Shen Bermaise and Loikin Olov. What did he do? Nothing. <laughs> he said speech, love Shen Bermaise. If I say Loshon Hora Rachilut, except for Moshe Shemra, if I say to you all kinds of also things, Kfire, Chas V'Shalom, it's terrible. I'm not Chayv Malkus, Lav Shen B'Maise. And then what did I do? Nothing. <laughs> the whole war. I didn't do. I didn't eat. I was on a diet. I, I got into keto diet. Atkins. That's what you need that bread today. I decided to go Atkins. Yeah. I was passive aggressive. I didn't do anything. So not Chayv Malkus. That's the reason. I'm Chayv Malkus. And this is a punchline. Very good. Eshlaki says it's a saw sofik. Why? When exactly can give a saw? It's a two stage process. You made the shvua. I will eat that kikar. Okay. That is the crucial moment in the story. How can you give him a saw? It depends on another maisa. A maisa whether you will or won't eat the, the bread. And at that stage, it's too late to give a saw. That, by the way, says Rashi. I didn't read you the Rashi. Rashi says, a saw always has to begin on the first stage, not the second one. Says Rashi Lakish, a saw sofek, yeah, because the saw is there, and you never know. Every moment is a question. Tomorrow, I'll eat it. Uh, in a minute, I'll eat it in a minute. Ha-ha, I'll eat it in a second. Ha-ha, he don't have the one moment of of act, not love that connection. By the way, Rash, Rash Lakish believes love Shen Bamai say yes, like in all of wow. Rash Lakish says love Shen Bamai say you do get Malkus, big Kiddush. Here you don't get Malkus because it's a love. She what? A saw suffix. Any moment he can tell you, I'm about to eat it. You don't have one moment. By the way, a saw has to be right before the Maisa. You have to realize that too. When you tell a guy, if you smoke a cigarette, you turn on that, that you know, the, that lighter, you're going to get skila. It has to be mamish, uh, very close. If you gave him a saw at 5 o'clock and 5, 
in 10 minutes, he did the mice, is not half skill. So you don't have that moment to connect to a shlach, it's a sore sophic. Meshank and Rabbi Yochanan says, no, a sore sophic is a sore. He can give him a sore now. And can give you an sore of if, hey, mister, if you don't eat that bread in the morning, he made the shavu in the morning, yeah? And the whole day passed. Nine o'clock in the morning, he made shavu, according to Rabbi Yochanan. Nine o'clock in the morning, we tell him, if you don't eat the bread any moment during the day, we're telling you now, you chayv malchus. He's chayv malchus, according to Rabbi Yochanan. Elamites love shen b'maise. That's why he's not. But conceptual, the mechlokis is again, according to Rabbi Yochanan, love shen b'maise. Ain't like in all of. According to Rish Lakish, love shen b'maise. According to Rabbi Yochanan, yeah, asro sofek, excuse me, according to Rish Lakish, asro sofek, lo yishmo asro. The Shlakish, the Sosophic is not a straw. Therefore, you can't have a two stage process with Malkus, no such thing. And therefore, let's repeat a guy divorced, he's about to divorce his uh, not so beloved wife, the Anusa, that he's forced to stay with, is about to be with his other wife. The two Edim Rashin, oh, the boy, Chaim Zankala, what are you doing here, Zankal? You're about to do this other wife, oh, the boy. According to a Shlakish, it only works if this other wife is the be all and end all in one action. No Sophic of later. Therefore, in a chinami, one is the Chayv Malkus by divorcing. You want to rectify that, but you have it, quickly marry her. But you're already Chayv Malkus. Rabbi Yochanan says, no, you can never saw a Sophic. You can never saw if you divorce her now and later on you will make it irrevocable, the remarriage, then you'll get Malkus. Ah, it's an if and a maybe. Yes, we can give a straw and an if and a maybe, according to Rabbi Yochanan. Baruch Hashem, Nisim, G'doyli, Matzloch, Obroch, thank you, people on Torah, anytime. And people on Torah, anytime, staff, members, and viewers, we love you all. Matzloch, Obroch, thank you to all of us, all of you who watch us on YouTube. Have a great day. Matzloch, Obroch, no, sure, tomorrow, 11 after, I have to do Chazor, prepare for Mashiach.